guys, how's it going? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and this is another episode of Hockey Ultimate Team Road to Glory here on NHL 14. So, it has been a very, very good couple of uh, seasons so far with the FGTV Benders. We've built our team up to a five-star team, got a lot of superstars, and I'm uh, looking to improve. Uh, looking for a uh, first-line left winger. And always more, of course. So we're, you know, saving up pucks for a potential superstar. So let's go ahead and start off the episode with um, the look at the trade pile. Bunch of guys sold, um, and Osner did not sell. So we're gonna put him up real quickly for uh, 500 pucks for an hour. So um, that is that. And we're gonna go ahead and open up just one uh, featured pack. Hopefully we can get something good. 25k pucks. Uh, I'm not gonna blow it on pucks though just to be safe and here is the pack oh looking good there and this actually turns out to be a very very good pack the best pull I've had so far on this game right now I'm not doing anything because I was actually freaking out so we got uh, Ryan Kessler an 87 overall uh, we did get Rodon Brad Richards but then we also got a star of the week or not star of the week hut live Chris Kunitz so um, Kunitz goes for about 14k um, but I think I'm currently putting him up uh, for about 9k because uh, it uh, wasn't um, he, he didn't sell for 14k it was actually going down in price so um, we do keep the Kessler though I want to try him out so there's the lines there with Kessler he's now the first line center we're gonna move Pavelski down to the second line so now we're really looking for that left uh, left wing uh, first line left wing um, forward so um, if we can just get that, it'll be a very good looking first line. So, uh, looking pretty good there on the team. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into a game here against a guy with the Sharks jerseys and logos, Shark Bitten. Again, in this Winter Classic Arena, I hate it. But, you know what? Milan McCulloch got a goal there. Nice job there uh, in the slot. And Teaming gets it on the point here. He'll shoot it, and it'll be tipped in front um, by Martin Havlat, maybe? Um, I'm not sure. But, uh, really good tip there. And. We are up 2 nothing, and right here is a nice move, but um, it is going to be stopped by Allen. And then on the rebound, it's actually Kessler, his first goal with the team. Re really good effort there. We go up 3 nothing, and that will be the final score of the game. So 3 nothing. this is double pucks uh, day. It was that 24-hour one, so I tried to get as many games in as I could. So we officially got the Division 8, Division 8 title and moved into Division 7. So we'll be facing a guy with the team named Dirty McNabs in Division 7 for the first time and you see there Kessler taking the opening face off really really laggy to start off and kind of have a hard time here getting the puck out of our zone and he gets a lucky bounce there and goes right to Hoodler and he puts it in so he has the early one nothing lead not good and you can just see how laggy it is I'm putting in Norvith because uh, Niami is uh, fatigued so uh, later in the first year Joe Pavelski in the slot fires a shot and rips it home 1-1 one, one, tie game and uh, looking pretty good here cut right here late in the first period nice breakaway here but it is going to be a penalty shot for Chris Kunitz I believe and by the way uh, I kept him not the hut live one I put the hut live up for sale because it was more pucks and Chris Kunitz not uh, disappointing there he gets a penalty shot goal there nice job skating backwards and then a nice little move kind of a weird angle goal but I'll take it so um, Later in the game, Horton gets a juicy rebound off the pad of his goalie and no, makes no mistake, puts that one in. And right here, Kippers off his goalie, makes a bad mistake, and easy backhand there. Again, that's Horton. So now we go up 4-1, so the lag has stopped, uh, thankfully. And right here, Heatley gets a nice little bounce and just puts it in 5 holes. So now it's 5-1, and we're getting kind of lucky here. Um, but we're going to take anything we get because it's just going to boost the amount of pucks. Right here, uh, this is... Chris Kunitz maybe or Jordan Eberle I forget which one uh, making a nice little breakaway for themselves and scoring so we win that one six to one get basically 1700 pucks on that one game that's excellent um, and we get two points towards our division seven title so we'll look at the um, trade pile here all these guys sold Fisher we did kick out um, momentarily and uh, Chris Kunitz um, did not sell. I think I'm like I said. I'm currently selling them for like nine thousand. So we'll go into another game here against the uh, Le Ice Holes, which I thought was hilarious. So he has the Canadian logo and jersey. He comes in right here. A nice goal with McCulloch. Seems like a lot of people have McCulloch on this game. He's a really good, 
um, forward. Um, again, I have Norevereth in the net, making sure Niemi is um, resting up. And right here, an awesome goal from Stefan Robada, stopping up in the neutral zone and firing it. Nice snipe there. But later in the game, halfway through the second almost, and he makes a nice little goal there with St. Louis. So he has a 2-1 lead. And then right here, it breaks out of a pile, gets a breakaway, really nice move, and scores. I was kind of, you know, yelling at EA here because just, I don't know, I, I felt like, and then right here I gave up, obviously, but, uh, so it's it's 4-1, but I, I don't know, I was really mad with myself, I had a lot of opportunities, and my team was better than his, and I still couldn't get it done, so right here we're going to get a goal back, 4-2 now, that was Milan McCulloch, um scoring, um, just like I said, and uh, that will do it for the game, though, so we do lose our first game in like eight games, I think, it was ridiculous, so, um, we still get a thousand pucks, though, because of double pucks day, and, um, Happy hour, so, but we will get no points towards the Division 7 title, so unfortunately can't do anything there, but um, here's the updated trading pile, we sold those two now, so Fisher we're going to put up, and uh, Kunitz we will too, so we will enter a game with uh, a guy named Fart Sniff, which I thought was funny, um, and he, I don't think he had a very good team, yeah he didn't, so um, right here early in the game, nice little one touch pass there. Ryan Kessler, uh, really working well with him, you know, playing well. So um, I'm glad that he scored, and really glad as that turned out to be the only goal. So we win that one, one nothing. Get a good amount of pucks. We got four points, and now really, really big news. We saved up enough money to buy Bobby Ryan, that right winger. I'm actually going to use a right wing to left wing change position card on him. I'm also going to use a assistant captain card, which will add all of his stats up by one, and the same with Kessler. So they're both assistant captains. They're both 88 overalls now. And now with that uh, change position card, I have him on the left wing. So there's our first line there looking awesome. And uh, the team is really looking good now, especially that first line. It's really, um, really dangerous. So I'm um, really happy with the purchase there. Hopefully there's more good players to come in the future. And uh, here is... I believe the last game of the episode, it is against a guy named the BC Meteors, I think, and uh, he comes in right here, nice little shot, and a rebound there goes to Stahlberg, he puts it in, so uh, kind of a lucky goal there, but uh, this is the game before the playoffs, so I was kind of resting up Niemi at this point, giving Norvath the chance, and uh, he lets in another one there, and now it's 2 nothing, and that will be the game, really frustrated, I lost back-to-back -back games. Um, against teams I should have beat so really frustrating obviously now it wasn't double pucks weekend uh, or the double pucks happy hour or whatever you want to call it so I get no points there it's pretty pretty unfortunate but um you know what it's okay you see there 18 minutes until the playoff window opens unfortunately that will have to do it for the episode today but returned for the next episode in which we will play in in the playoffs for the first time as a team officially so the team is looking really dangerous looking really good almost at division um six and looking pretty good so check out the channel leave us a like and have a fantastic day see you guys peace